Hey everybody, Eric here from Marrow Visuals, and today I wanted to share with you how to apply some Snapseed preset looks to your video files. Let's open up Snapseed, and here's a picture of my dog. His name's Rory. As you see, you can do all the custom adjustments from brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, that kind of stuff. But if we scroll down and go into the curve section, you'll notice that we have some different preset looks. We've got soft contrast, hard contrast, brighten, darken, faded, and a bunch of other ones. As we scroll through these presets, you'll notice that each look has its own unique curve displayed in the graph to the right. We're going to use this curve graph to apply these specific looks to our video inside our editor. I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro CC, but these principles should work inside your editor as well. So I'll be recreating the FO2 look, and I'm going to take screenshots of each curve and import them into my project so I'm able to quickly reference them while I'm creating this custom look. Okay, so let's jump into Premiere here. I've got this sequence set up with just this handheld shot of coastline and a car, something simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to New Item and Adjustment Layer, click OK, make sure all the settings are fine, drag it over here, I'll cut it to the, the length of the clip, and then we're going to go over to the Color tab. So we're in the Color tab, and we want to click on the Source Monitor up here, and this is going to bring up the pictures for reference like I was saying before. So I'm going to find my RGB curve, that's this white curve right here, and then I'm going to click on the sequence, go over to my Curves panel, and then you'll see right here, you've got the RGB and then red individual, green individual, and blue individual lines. And those will sync up into each curve in Snapseed. Before we start to adjust our curve points here, I just wanna show that the grid in the curve editor is laid out the exact same. So it makes finding these points right here really easy. So we'll start down here. We've got these two. So we'll go over here to our blacks, lift up, and then put a point right about there. And you can already see the image is starting to change and you can you can mute the curves layer and bring it back just to see what it's doing but yeah so that's good um actually this probably needs to be up just a tiny bit more so we get the next one up here in the middle so we'll go to the middle it's about halfway up there and that's looking good and now we go to our highlights and we just bring it all the way down there okay so the rgb curve is done now we're going to go over here to our red curve, click back on our sequence, go over to our red, and we'll actually see that the red curve isn't being manipulated, so we can leave that one alone. So we'll go to our green curve, it's got some points on it, so we go back to our sequence, click on the green, and do the same things. That looks pretty good. Okay, so after we're done with our green, we're gonna go find the blue. Blue is being manipulated a little bit. Click on our adjustment layer, back over to the blue. We're gonna lift our shadows just a tiny bit and pull down the highlights up there. And there we go, that's it. And if you wanna see a before and after, you can just mute the layer. Um, you can actually adjust the intensity. So if we go over to the editing menu, on the sequence, we can adjust the opacity of it, change it from like full power to 2%, 50%, whatever you want. You can also save this so you can apply it easily to any video clip in the future. If we go up here to Lumetri Color, right click, we can save preset. I'll call this one Snapseed F02 Curves. If we were animating things, we'd want to look into these options a little bit more, but since we're not, we can just ignore them right now and just click OK. So now in another project, I can easily apply that same curve preset just by dragging another adjustment layer on, going over to Presets, and then Snapseed FO2 Curves is what you'll find. You just drag that on, bam, done, just like that. I hope this has been helpful in giving you a couple ideas on how to creatively use these curve presets in your own projects. I've made a handful of these preset looks available for you to download, so go ahead and check the description below if you want to try some of these looks out for yourself. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. I've been Eric from Marrow Visuals, and as always, thank you for watching.